Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we are going to continue with the last part of common applications of logarithm, the exercise 5. So we had completed up to part 3 and this is going to be the part 4. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So I'm going to do three sums from question number 15. It has five sums from 1, 1 to 5. So we're starting off with question number 2. Question number 1 is easier. If you get question number 2, you can easily solve question number 1. So here we have question number 2 and what are the things that is given? We have to solve for x. So we have to find x. What is given is 18 into 3 to the power x equal to 2 to the power x. Okay, so first what we did is we simplified or we factorized 18 and we can write 18 as 2 into 3 square. 3 square is 9. So 2 nines are 18 and keeping the rest same. What we did now, we combine these two, three bases same, it is multiplication. So the power will be added. So it becomes 3 to the power 2 plus x. This two side changes and comes down to this here. After side change, it becomes divided by 2. So here we have 3 to the power 2 plus x and here since it is divide, base is same, the power will become minus. So it will be twice x minus 1. I hope it is clear up to here. Now we need to bring logarithm. So we bring in log on both sides and the power goes in the front, the power goes in the front. We can write the value of log 3 here 0.47712 and 0 0.30103 and then it is normal calculation. You break the brackets 2 into this gives us this value, x into this value gives us this value. Then we have twice x into 0 0.30103 gives 0.60206x and minus 1 into this will give us minus 0.30103. Then we bring the x values on one side and the constant values on the other and we get this. Once you solve for x, you get the value 10.04939. So what is important for you to understand is this part. Okay, and then after taking logarithm, it becomes very easy. You just have to bring the power on the left side, power on in front of the log, put the value of that log from the log table, you can use the log table. You put these values and then solve just like a simple linear equation. You can solve simply like a linear equation and you will get the value of x. The toughest part in this sort of sums is not anywhere here. It is right here. While you have to do the calculation, this division becomes very tough. So this is the toughest part of the whole sum. These things are really easy. If you want, if you think that I don't want to do this calculation, what you can do is directly take log here. So if you take log directly here, what you will get is log of 18 into 3 to the power x equal to log of 2 to the power x. So here you have to find the value of log 18 plus log 3 to the power x equal to, I mean this is log 2 to the power 2x x and here it will be log of 2 to the power 2x x. This also you can do if you want. So I did this method, you can follow this method, put the values and again find the value. So that's how you can do the sum. So I hope this is clear to you. So let's move on to question number 3. So now we move on to question number 3 and it looks very complex. This question seems like a very complex sum because we have plus in the middle. If we had multiplication in the middle then it would have been a lot easier because we would have used logarithm and we have a formula for log of m into n. Log m into n is log m plus log n but we don't have any formula for log m plus n log m plus n there is no formula we don't have any formula for this log of m plus n no formula there is no formula for this so what we do here we will not take log at the beginning rather we will split this up 3 to the power thrice x plus 2 we can write it as 7 to the power thrice x plus 7 to the into 7 to the power 2 since power is plus that means it should be multiplied by the same power okay now, 4 to the power x plus 2 means 4 to the power x into 4 to the power 2. I hope this is clear. Then here we have 3 to the power 7 to the power 3x into 7 to the power 1. Here we have 2 to the power 2x plus into. This is plus power. So here we have into 2 to the power 6. Very simple. Now what we do? If you look here, we have got 7 square is 49 and this one we write the same. Here 4 square is 16, this one we write the same. Here 7 we write and this power we write the same. Here 2 to the power 6 is 64 and this part we write the same. So every one, every number with a variable as the power, we keep it the same. Okay, we don't do anything with that. Now next part is we bring the, these things towards the same side. 7 to the power thrice x, 7 to the power thrice x we have brought towards the LHS and 4 to the power x and this 2 to the power twice x we have brought to the same side. So this one we have kept the same. 4 to the power x if you look here, 
4 to the power x means 2 to the power 2 whole to the power x because 4 is 2 square this one we can write 2 to the power twice x so that's why what i have done i have changed it into this 4 to the power x becomes 16 into 2 to the power twice x this conversion i have done here so now that we have these things common we can take this as common 49 minus 7 will be 42 here we have 2 to the power twice x common and we have 64 minus 16 which will give us 48 now 42 and 48 we can cancel by 6 so i have done it directly here it is become 7 it will become 8 so we have 7 into 7 to the power thrice x we have 8 into 2 to the power twice x so here again base is same so power will be added thrice x plus this power is 1 thrice x plus 1 here 8 can be written as 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 so i have written 2 to the power 2 ice x and since this can be i am just writing this part okay 8 into 2 to the power 2 ice x means 2 cube into 2 to the power 2 ice x that means we can write 2 to the power 2 ice x plus 3 this thing we can do this is exactly the thing i have done right here okay from this step to this step so this step goes like this okay if you are confused then you can do these steps in the middle so now what happens we have a single number with the power single number with the power now we can take the log so we take the log on both sides the power this power and this power will come at the beginning so they have come at the beginning then we get the value of log 7 put the value of log 2 simplify the whole thing and just solve like a normal linear equation and you will get the value x equal to 0 0.03 so this part is known to you linear equation solving is known to you so i am not emphasizing much on this you must be aware of this just see how to construct the sum okay so don't be worried whenever you get this sort of plus or minus sign in the middle try to figure it out you will get one pattern they the question will be set in such a way that you get a pattern so you'll always get a pattern so this one it forms this sort of pattern and it becomes easy to solve if you can follow the pattern okay so i hope you understood this one let's move on to the next question let's move on to the next part which is question number five a very easy sum here we have a multiplication so since we have multiplication we can use our formula of log m into n we don't have any addition or subtraction so there is no problem so what we do in the very first step we can take log log on both sides so what will happen log of m plus into log of I mean log of m into n so what we can do is log of m plus log of n let me use this marker it will be easier for you uh, this will be log of m plus log of n and here we have log of 8 right this is m into n so what we do we have this power it comes to the front we have this power it also comes to the front we have log 6 we have log 4 and we have log 8 so 3 minus 4x is written log 6 value we write from the log table x plus 5 log 4 value we write from the log table log 8 value also we write from the log table then again the same thing solve like a linear equation in one variable and we get we multiply these two get this value multiply these two break the brackets multiply and get these values simplify get the value of x in s we will get the value as this 1.67769 if we round it off we get 1.77 so i hope you understood how to do this the remaining sums which are left which i have not done are actually easier than this so you can go ahead and try those out yourself so we move on to the last sum of this exercise which is question number 16 so we are on to the last question of the exercise and of the chapter as well which is question number 16 and we have to show that 21 by 20 whole to the power 100 is greater than 100 now in some of the books you may find it is written 21 by 10 well it will not be 21 by 10 it will be 21 by 20 with 21 by 10 also you can solve i uh, will show you how but the actual question is 21 by 20 because 21 by 10 is pretty simple it is very obvious how if you ask 21 by 10 means 2.1 and to the power 100 means 2.1 to the power 100 we don't have to go up to 100 even 2 to the power 7 if we do you get 128 so it is already greater than 100 so it will not be 10 it will be power will be 100 but this denominator will be 20 okay so it is will be 21 by 20 whole to the power 100 if you want to do it with 10 you can do so let's start with this one what we did here so we took let x equal to the LHS we took the value of LHS so what we will do we will find the value that is the what we want to do so what we are doing we have taken log on both sides 100 has come here and what we are doing is we are find, doing log m by n so it is log m minus log 
n. So we find the value of log 21, we find the value of log 20, we have a subtraction, so subtract them, we have 100 here, so we multiply it by 100 and we get 2.119. Then we find the antilog. I hope you know how to find antilog, I have explained it earlier. So find anti to find antilog, we find the value of log of 2.119 and you get the value 131.52 that means 21 by 20 whole to the power 100 the value is 131.52 so since this value is 131 since 131.52 is greater than 100 so obviously 21 by 20 to the power 100 will be greater than 100 very simple sum it looks kind of uh, like an inequality sum it is not that tough nothing related to inequality or means i mean it is inequality but it is not like any high funda about inequality very simple find the value of LHS you will show that it is greater than 100 so it is greater than 100 very simple so that here we come to the end of chapter 5 logarithm of class 10 advanced mathematics so I hope you understood all the videos part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 if you have any problem I would suggest you go back to these videos and watch them again you will find it in my channel so you can do that watch those videos it will be really helpful for you so thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next one cheers